Becky. I'm Sarah. And we're doing bickering book reviews. But today we are going to do something that is going to help us clean up our Goodreads page. Yes! And this is our To Be Read check-in. And once a month, we are going to pick a book that has been on our To Be Read shelf on Goodreads for a while. We're going to read it, and then we are going to tell you our take on it, and if it's been worth the wait, and if it should have been on our To Be Read shelf this whole time. And so the book I picked <clears throat> is one of the first books I put on my To Be Read shelf, and it's called King of, King of the Screw-Ups by K.L. Going, who won a Prince Honors for Fat Kids World the Universe. Um, and she wrote St. Iggy, which I also read because at one point it was on my to-be-read shelf. And this book is about Liam, who is from a very privileged family. His mother was a supermodel, his father is a CEO, and he is a screw-up. He keeps doing things that gets him in trouble, and his father finds him in a compromising half dressed position with a girl on his desk. And so Liam is banished, and instead of going to live with his very, very strict grandparents, he convinces his father, to let, actually his mother convinces him to convince his father to send him to live with his uncle who lives in a trailer in upstate New York who is a drag queen, a homosexual drag queen who is part of a glam rock band. That sounds so much fun. I <laughs> so I put this on my To Be Read shelf in March of 2011 <laughs> oh. and just to keep everybody up to date, it is currently May of 2016. <laughs> More than five years. <laughs> And I read it this weekend. I liked it. I liked Liam. I liked the uncle. It was funny. Um, it moves quickly. It was. It's different. It was a different perspective. I liked the fact that you had a straight boy who liked fashion. You don't usually get that in books, and there are straight guys who like fashion. And I'm like, that's hey, cool. that's cool. They have something. Yeah. Um, I would say, was it worth waiting five years? Probably not. It's not like a hold your breath book. To be quite honest, I probably forgot it was on my to be read shelf. But I am glad that I marked it and that I read it. Okay. So. All right. <laughs> I mean, it sounds interesting. It I kind of want to add it, it to my to-be-read shelf. It was, it was shelf. good. It was good. So. Um, cleaning up my to-be-read shelf, I listened to Hope Was Here by Joan Bauer. Um, that was on my list since February of 2015. So not as long as, <laughs> no. as um, your going book. Slacker. <laughs> <laughs> um, so this book is about Hope, who was originally named Tulip, but changed her name to Hope because of all of the connotations that come along with it, and she likes the concept of, you know, hoping. Um, she is <clears throat> like 15 years old and works as a waitress, lives with her aunt because her mother is basically out of the picture, abandons her kind of, but pops back into her life every so often, but really it's the aunt that kind of holds everything together. Um, the two of them work in diners kind of across the country. They move quite often, uh, hope waitresses, whereas her aunt is a cook. Um, ultimately, they end up in a new town, taking over for the owner of this diner um, because he has leukemia and is basically dying and he needs help kind of running the diner while he's going through treatments. Um, so, and it's kind of a way for Hope to find her place in the world. She, it's about finding family and about, you know, finding your place. And um, while at this diner, Hope meets new friends. Also, the owner who has leukemia also decides that he wants to run for mayor because the current mayor is very corrupt, um, has, you know, back alley deals with the local dairy company, so a lot of bad things are going on in the town and the man with leukemia wants to kind of fix it up kind of as his last dying effort. And it's, yeah, it's really about building connections. It, I thought it was worth it. Um, it was really good. It kind of sounds boring, but it was. it's one of those books that are about reality and give you kind of these insights and these inspirational thoughts that kind of make you feel good about life. Um, also, the reader was Jenna Lamia, and she is one of my ultimate favorite readers. I, don't know if I know that reader. I, I can't remember what else she read. She she was one of the readers in Shiver, and she was the one of the readers in um, The Help. She's I didn't one of my favorites. Them. So I was like, yes! It always makes audiobooks go faster when you like the reader. True. True. Um, so yeah, I think it was worth it. I'm, I don't know. I wouldn't have picked it up on my own, and I don't think that the book jacket sounds as exciting as it doesn't match how good it is. 
Um, but I'm glad I read it. It certainly was worth it. So, yeah. So should we rate them? Okay, yeah, go ahead. Right. So um, I gave King of the Screw-Ups, a novel by K.L. Going. I gave it two fairies. It didn't quite make it to Unicorn, but it was entertaining, and I would recommend it. And I, I gave Hope Was Here a unicorn, one unicorn. So it was really good. It was really, like I said, inspirational. So the lesson is check your TV red shelf. True story. True story. All right, well, thanks for stopping by with us. See you later.